Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair, Lenovo, but this is a big one, I, I think it's a 17 inch uh, screen, check here, we have Lenovo, you can see on the screen, but no backlight, you can see, this is IdeaPad 3, the hinge is kind of gone, yeah, but still working. So the laptop was booked in with uh, laptop it's on but no brightness. We have to fix it somehow. Uh, it is possible they try to they try to fix it already, but when you have a fold like this, no backlight, you can go onto the laptop inside of the laptop to check if you have like the backlight voltage, or onto the screen. On the screen you can check more than just backlight voltage, like the signals from the EC chip for uh, screen on, LED on, and the DIM, DIM which is a PWM signal, but you can fool it with like a fixed amount of voltage, like 3.3. So uh, I will say, yeah, I can see the, I can see the watch, uh, the watch on the screen. So I will say, let's go uh, on the back of the screen. Let me see if I can open. I mean, not sure how this is. Uh, uh, some screens are, uh, you know, hard to be open. So this is the most risky part, actually, taking the screen out. Possible the screen to be stuck on the back of the of the frame, and also you can see stuck on the front. Tricky, yeah, I know. You can have uh, you can have a surprise, and the frame uh, can get cracked. Can happen. So I open the screw. And still, I have no idea how can I go back on the screen. I mean, this is crazy. The hinge and the screen—it's one part. How this is possible? You can see the back cover, it's out. How the, the screen can be attached to the hinge? Yeah, the screen, it's attached to the hinge. So I can't take this out. Yeah, the screen is attached to the hinge, which is insane. Okay, it's not much what I can do. We have to open the laptop and remove completely the hinge. We have to open the laptop anyway because we have to remove the battery before playing to the screen connector. And the laptop, it's open. Wait, one second. Let me remove the battery and let's have a look at the screen connector. I mean, something is burned there. I mean, it's not burned, but this is like, what, liquid damage? What is this thingy? Oh, lol, check here, check here. So this is some kind of liquid Is The liquid is still here. Yeah, and yeah, okay. So check here, the track is broken. You have one track broken and the second one. And the, these two uh, specific pins, they are coming on this side, where you have exactly two pins for the backlight. You know, actually, wow. I'm not sure what is here. It's a component, right? Yeah. Uh, I think someone clean it. This is the first MOSFET. Yeah, looks like. Okay, how we can fix this? Uh, how we can fix like any fall like this? 
when you have uh, broken pins on the screen connect on the screen connector yeah but you don't want to replace uh, let's say the screen ribbon cable I mean the first two pins are together so basically you need like one wire in order to make this working again and we open the screen for nothing I can't believe let's clean it properly so very possible whatever is on the screen is good let's dry I mean if you ask me you know what you know what it's no even point I mean I can do it I can cut the wire from here and solder there but we can just rebuild yeah we can clean it here use a wire from here to here and yeah that's all problem solved but it's not much to learn from something like that because most of the time you don't have these kind of connectors so i want you to show you the way how you can fix any screen connector in a case like this so on the back you have what actually you don't even have two wires you have only one wire check here you have only this one wire the big one yeah this one so we open completely the connector you know what actually we do have two wires you can see we have the black and we have the the gold one yeah check here Yeah, the gold one let me take it out and the black one gold and black yeah so we have two wires do you need two wires no you need only one one should be enough the screen is not taking more than uh, you know 100 200 milliamps What they are using the two wires uh, redundancy you know if one wire is not touching or whatever you still have the second wire so now we can plug back the connector yeah so the screen connector is plugged in good and we have these two wires which we can solder i mean this is plus right plus fuse but we don't need a fuse right no we don't need because we are complicating the things we have the current sensor after the second mosfet yeah that's the second one so now i'm gonna comb and i will take the power from here uh, the other options you have to you know solder like a another wire which basically were complicated the things with nearly no reason yeah we need flux we need rosin actually And you'll say yes sorry but you know if something goes wrong uh, the chance to go wrong is actually higher if i'm doing some dodgy things with a wire solder here and move there you know that wire can touch different things i mean the chances are higher compared with this because the the charger you have a small charger the charger has protection so let's assume there is a short circuit um the charger has protection yeah if it's a short and is battery powered 
Then the battery has a current sensor and uh, same it will disconnect the power. Now I'm gonna plug the battery because I'm curious. I open the screen for nothing. Pressing the power button. We have backlight. Can't believe. Check there. Working fine. Huh? We open the screen for nothing. I can't believe. Yeah, okay. Next time, try to open the laptop first because it's easier. Brightness. Where is the brightness? Yeah. Yeah, working fine. I mean, the chances are like 50-50 to be from the screen side or from the laptop side, from the board side. And after you finish and you test, then you can use a little bit of hot glue. Just a little bit of hot glue. Here. Perfect. Yeah. All done. Let me put back the back cover. But never seen before a screen attached to the hinge. Everything is back in place, pressing the power button, and it's working fine. Mm -hmm. Easy pizza, right? Yeah, must be. Can you fix that connector in different ways? Yeah, you can, but you have to take the screen out to replace the, the screen ribbon cable. So uh, before choosing like a, risk, a risky way to fix a fold, just think like this kind of way when, you know, there is no risk for me to damage the screen. I mean, this screen still is coming out easily, but can be different screens you, where there is a risk on um, breaking the screen. You have to understand from the, the connectors, yeah? The connector is a compromise. The best connection... In the world, it's a soldering connection, yeah? So they're using connectors, so you can swap the board, you can swap the screen ribbon cable. But just because you solder the wires, actually, you improve, actually, the design, yeah? So it's not like we solder the wire and, you know, the laptop is not that good like before. No, actually, it's more good than, than before. Especially when we, are, when we are speaking about power rail. Now we have a power rail which has solder wires and not connector. So if you ask me, any solder connection is an improvement compared with a connector. I'm going to stop here. I will say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. No, no, it's not dodgy. No, no. No, it's just, just an easy pizza. <laughs>